This is Return to Tennis. I'm Aaron. Guys, thanks for returning. So, I decided, you know, I, I've gotten a lot of rackets over the past 12 months. You guys have seen me hitting a lot of rackets. If you've been watching the channel, you're like, man, he's gotten a lot of rackets. None of these rackets have been gifts. None of them have been, well, some have been like birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, but not like rackets sent to me by vendors for review. They're coming out of my own pocket. Which is why a lot of them are older models. Because, um, you know, I'm on that constant hunt for the perfect racket. So I started, you know, thinking about it. As maybe I should kind of let you guys know how I'm acquiring these rackets. Because they're expensive. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. Is how do I hunt down bargains, right? It's not too complicated. And maybe you might be a little surprised at how easy some of these bargains are to find when you know where to look. So first place, first stop that I always check is play it against sports. I have several in my city, um, several in neighboring cities when I'm traveling for work that I can swing through. Um, but they're not everywhere. Like not every city and state has played against sports, unfortunately. But if you have them where you are, that should be your first stop. A lot of times you can find rackets there at a far reduced rate uh, in varying degrees of condition, which is what I'm always looking at, is not just what condition the racket is in, but is it worth what they're charging for that condition? And um, I've gotten lucky on several occasions. I found the Yonex RQIS 30 with barely any cosmetic damage at all for $25. I found the Vocal Power Bridge 8 with very little damage or wear and tear on it for $30. I found the 1995 Head Radical Tour 690, which is the 107 square inch, the big one, not a single mark on it, mint condition, 20 bucks. And I've had other things like a Wilson Burn and a Prince Tour that I've come across in these places at a far reduced rate. Um, and in pretty nice shape. Heck, I even got my old Pro Kenix from 1989, new old stock, still in the plastic, still with the placard and everything. And I found those things at Play It Against Sports. Um, you can always check Play It Against Sports online. They list a lot of their rackets across the country, but a lot of stores don't have websites and don't put the rackets up, so you kind of have to go in there and see for yourself. What I do like about Play It Against Sports, say, over eBay, is that I can actually hold the racket in my hand, right? On eBay, you're looking at pictures, and you're trying, and you're hoping that cosmetically it looks as good as it does in the pictures. With Play It Against Sports, the selection is not as good. You're limited in what they have. But you can actually see the racket and kind of grade it for yourself if it's worth what they're asking. So plating in sports is my number one stop because it's convenient. And I can put the racket in my hand. I can see what it feels like and hold it. And I, I like that being available to me. Second on the list, of course, is eBay. Uh, eBay is the bane of my existence. I've spent so much money on eBay. But I've gotten really lucky and caught in some great deals for rackets in near mint condition. Uh, I captured an Aero Pro drive from 2007 in almost mint condition for a really reasonable price. I've gotten several, all my Fisher rackets, all my Fisher rackets came through eBay at really low prices. Most of them came out of Europe with almost no cosmetic damage. Very, very little. Scratches and scuffs, almost new at like $45, $35 for these old Fisher rackets that are great frames. I captured myself a X-Force Pro number one, a Pacific, out of Japan. Mint condition, never been played. It was a display model. It was a 2016 model that they were using for a display. It was never meant to be sold, so no one ever hit it. I got that at a fantastic price. Plus, eBay gives you the opportunity to find specifically what you're looking for, right? You go to play it against sports, they got what they got. That's it. You go to eBay, you can specifically hunt for what, what racket you want, in the grip you want, 
and and have a large variety of options available some with free shipping some with uh you know expedited shipping with costs pictures are up you can kind of try to get a good look at the frame um i've always had better luck getting frames out of japan or europe with low cosmetic damage than i have in the u.s uh they seem to just take better better care of their equipment i guess um maybe that's unfair to say but that's just been my experience Rackets that came out of Europe had very little cosmetic damage. I've gotten a couple rackets out of Japan that were mint. There wasn't a mark on them, uh, even though they were several years old. So eBay's my number two go-to. So what does that leave us? That leaves us places like Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Point, Tennis Express, Hollabird Sports. These places that run sales and specials, they have the latest equipment, at the most expensive price and then they will have a couple maybe older generations back that they still have in stock that they've reduced down but i've made a discovery when it comes to dealing with tennis warehouse and i'm going to flip the camera around i'm going to put it up on the uh, computer here you're going to be able to see what i'm talking about and it's buying from tennis warehouse us versus buying from tennis warehouse in europe there is a difference and it's not just the charges for shipping that you pay if you buy from Europe. I'm going to pull this up here and let you guys take a look at it. I'm going to flip the camera around. You're going to see what I mean. And, you're, and if you have not looked at the Tennis Warehouse Europe website, you might want to from now on. Let's take a look. All right, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on here. We're at the Tennis Warehouse website, right? I am in the clearance tennis rackets. So let's see what Tennis Warehouse here in the U.S. has going on. Uh, there's the 2018 Pure Drive for 179, 18% off, right? The boosts are at 100. Uh, there's the Wilson Burn version V4, 27% off. That's the Wilson Burn. Uh, those are sitting at 129. Those are the version fours. Right, and you can see those. There's the old Wilson Blades version six. They're sitting at 179. The version two, the Ultras are at 179. Uh, there's a Prince Tech Stream Warrior for 100. And okay, so that's the end of the clearance list. Okay then. So this is Tennis Warehouse US. Let's go over to Tennis Warehouse Europe and see what's going on. Here we are at Tennis Warehouse Europe. This is their sale rackets that are going on right now. Techstream 03 Tour, 77.23 euros. That's about $81, okay? You're looking at about a 95 cents US to one euro. The euro is worth more. Look at 66% off. The Prokenix Key 5, 66% off. That's the old model. That's the previous model. Uh, that's about $77, what else we got going on down here? Let's see. 50% off. The TechStream Tour, that's like $95. 57% off, that's a junior racket. The Head Radical Graphene 360s. Uh, there's the MP. That's about $108. 57% off. Man, look at this. The T-Fight 315 RS, that's the previous model. That's about $107. The Radical Pro, 113 euros. That's about $117, $118. Okay, well, hold on a second. So none of these rackets are on the clearance list at Tennis Warehouse US. But that doesn't mean they are not on sale at Tennis Warehouse. So let's take, for example, let's say the Radical Pro, 113 So that's about $118. Let's come back over here to Tennis Warehouse US. Let's go to Head. Let's go down here to Head the Radicals. And let's take a look what the old Radicals are going for over here. There it is. There it is. $149. So in the US, it's $149, basically $150. Uh, shipping is free. But you're going to pay sales tax based on where you live. So for me... 
that racket would be about a hundred and sixty dollars. Hundred and sixty dollars. Conversely, over at Tennis Warehouse Europe, we were getting the racket for a hundred and eighteen, roughly. And I would probably end up paying about twenty dollars in shipping. That would put the racket at one hundred and thirty-eight. So I'm still saving money, even though I am paying for shipping, right? That's kind of ridiculous, right? Um, let's find some other examples here. What else has the Tennis Warehouse got going on? Tennis Warehouse Europe. The Technofiber T-Fight 315RS. What's What are we looking at over? That's about $107. So with shipping, because you don't pay tax if you buy from Europe. With shipping, I'd be looking at about $127 for that racket. What's Tennis Warehouse US charging? Let's go find the T-Fight RS. What do we got? Come on down here. T-Fight RS, $150. Um, again, I'm probably going to pay about another $10 in taxes. I'm looking at 106, or I'm sorry, 160 in the U.S. Um, and 127 if I get it out of Europe. Right? What else can we find? What else? Bob a lot pure arrows, pure drives. Right? Hundred. Uh, that's about one hundred twenty-four dollars. That's about one hundred and about one hundred thirty-nine, thirty-eight dollars. That price there at two hundred fifty-two euros. That's for two of them. Pure Strike Tour. Gravity. <laughs> There's the Twist Powers, the Princes. Like, you can see there is a massive difference in price here. Massive difference. The old V-Core, Yonex V-Core 300. That's the old model, right? The new ones are coming out. 100 and probably about $141. $140, $141 US. So with shipping, that'd be about $161 if you buy it in Europe. What's, what's it looking like right now at Tennis Warehouse US? Right. There's the new V cores. So, <laughs> right. Look at this. Hundred V core one hundred. Right. Is that what we were looking at over here in Europe? In Europe, we're looking at the V core one hundred three hundred gram. I'm looking at a hundred and about one hundred and fifty one sixty one dollars. One hundred and sixty one dollars U S. If I bought it from Europe. If you buy it at Tennis Warehouse US, you're paying $200, and then you still have tax. Tax for me, that'd be about $215 for that racket versus $161 if I bought it out of Europe. And that is including the shipping charges. So you can see, I mean, if you go through the websites here, you will find that these rackets in the US are selling on average for more than if you bought them from Europe, right? If you got them out of Europe, in most cases, you are going to pay less. Considerably less. Sometimes it's a difference of $20 or $30. Sometimes it's a difference of hundreds, of, you know, of $60, $70. Um, I have a E-Zone a Yonix E-Zone Tour 98 that I acquired from Europe. I got it for $120. They were still selling it in the U.S. at full price when I bought that racket. I got it at like 60% off. That was back in like June or July. Uh, another great example, I have a story here. Um, little tiny girl I play with at the club sometimes. She was having wrist issues. She plays with a Bobolot Pure Strike Team, which is a 100 square inches. 300 grams strung, 303 grams strung. Uh, it was causing wrist problems. She didn't feel uh, like she could use it at the net. And it was hurting her wrist. And I told her, well, maybe it's too heavy. It's probably too stiff. And I recommended that she try the new Head Boom team, which is a lighter weight. It's about 280 some grams strung up, right? There it is. 
and it has a lower stiffness rating when it might be easier on her arm. And she tried it and she loved it. She test played it. She loved it. She ordered it from the club before I got to talk to her and she ordered it and the club gave her a 20% discount. She's still paying over $200 for it plus tax plus stringing, right? So she's up there a little bit. She's still back up there. In Europe, the new Head Boom team, and you can see all of these are on sale. The Head Boom team in Europe is going for about $155, okay? So you're going to pay $175 for the Head Boom if you buy it in Europe. What's it selling for in the U.S.? What's the U.S. price? What do you think? $175 if I buy it from Europe. If I buy it in the U.S., $240. $200, that's, that's a $65 price reduction just to buy it from Europe. $240, and here you're going to pay tax. Tax on that for me would be another $15, probably another $20 in taxes. So now I'm up to $259 for this racket. I can get it out of Europe for $175, no tax. So how am I getting so many different rackets at such great prices? Some of it is here at Tennis Warehouse Europe, guys. So the next time you're thinking of buying something new, all right? So, as you can see, so the next time you're thinking of buying something new or looking for sales on rackets, price compare. You know, go to Tennis Warehouse, see what they're offering. Every once in a while, Tennis Warehouse in the U.S. is offering something at a price that is better than Europe. That is very rare. It is very rare to see that. Um, generally speaking, the deals that you can get F off of Tennis Warehouse Europe f are far better than anything you're going to find on the U.S. website. I don't know why there's such a discrepancy in the discounts and the pricing, but there is, and I would, can only assume it's due to like supply chain costs, like maybe getting rackets, because a lot of these rackets are produced in China or Taiwan or Japan. So maybe the you know costs of transporting the rackets to Europe is lower than it is to the U.S., and then they can offer better reductions in price. But I mean, some of these rackets, even after you pay the shipping, you're still saving 40 50 $75 on a brand new racket, right? So do your due diligence. If you're shopping, check them out. I highly recommend Tennis Warehouse Europe. Um, Tennis Warehouse US does price match, but they won't price match their own company. I tried that already. Uh, another last little tip you guys can consider is some retailers offer discounts for military, police, EMT, fire, and teachers. Uh, Hollabirds is one of them. You have to provide documentation that you fall into one of those categories, but they will send you a discount code if you can provide documentation. Tennis Warehouse doesn't offer that program, unfortunately. I'm not sure about Tennis Express or Tennis Point. I would assume that they don't either since their main competitor is Tennis Warehouse. So, But that's all I got for today, guys. How am I getting all these rackets? It's a lot of hunting. It's a lot of patience, especially with eBay. You know, just wait. That racket you're looking for at the price you want, it'll eventually show up. You just got to be a little patient. And some of it is taking advantage of great offers outside the U.S., which is sometimes what you have to do. But that's all I got for today, guys. May all your returns be for winners. And we now return you to your regularly scheduled programming.